First day of Tampin the Rammed Earth Wall. So we will be going with the cedar bark in our mix and seeing as we did the testing puck with the cedar in the mix it seemed like it was holding up pretty strong even after 24 hours of drying and slamming it on the rock a couple of times it was holding up pretty well. And you will notice that I am hand mixing all of these in the wheelbarrow with probably about less than two gallons of water for each mix in the wheelbarrow. but. Overall, we're going to be hand mixing for the most part, mainly because we don't have the electrical power or a gas powered cement mixer to use. But just like before, the ratio was nine shovelfuls of the soil and one part or one shovelful of the Portland cement to get it slightly dry and kind of this crumbly but it still sticks together as you kind of see it doesn't just splash all over the place and in total it took us about six wheelbarrow loads to do just this section and it is kind of the wheelbarrow loads are a little bit smaller they could be more full but it is it gets hard to mix it when it gets so full so these small batches are just fine for what we're doing now you can see that we have our kind of first level of temp uh, tamping that we've done with the rammed earth here and now we're gonna go and basically stack the rocks up even higher to keep building this up and we'll keep going all the way up. Just like the back part of the gabion, we will stack the front with some of our nice rocks that we have collected to bring up the level and get ready for tamping the next level. So with the wire ties being in the basket, these are going to be our check sections that we're essentially trying to build the rammed earth wall up to at a time to complete each section, which it will be pretty nice that these will kind of run through the wall, aiding and helping keep the wall together as well as the whole basket. The only tricky part is having to tamp around the wire ties. Just essentially you can't get a good enough tamp in between where uh, the wire is so I'll have to go back and use my nice wood stick that Nika had cut earlier and then I'll also just kind of stamp on it too 
as well as taking that stick to tamp all around the rocks where the tamper can't get to. The wire ties are sitting about five or six inches above where the gravel is. So that's essentially getting up to these wire ties and at least slightly burying them to be able to tamp down on them and not tamp on the wires themselves. That's kind of the, the goal layer that we're trying to essentially get to with each section that we do so that we'll be taking this, you know, little sections at a time as we slowly build up. You can support yourself by supporting us and purchasing our diverse microbial products, our consulting services. You can also check out our new Spreadshirt website where we are going to be constantly uploading new images and logos for the channel. You can also donate to our GoFundMe. Even a dollar helps create the abundance here to be able to spread to all of the viewers as well. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We'll be taking this section by section as we keep tamping up to get to over the gabion baskets where the posts are, and then the real stretch of wall starts coming into play. But appreciate everyone that's following along and watching our journey as well as the rammed earth adventure. So we'll see everyone in the next video when we get to piecing together the rest of the baskets as well as more rock stacking and more rammed earth tamping. Peace.